Hello, uh, this is the story of Jax. Jax is a barman. Uh, he's, a, he's a pub landlord, but he's a robot. And he owns a station. And he used to travel round the bubble. Uh, and you'd find it various places. And the good thing about Jax is he sells a special rare um, spirit, Jax Quinentian Still. And you make money with rare goods by travelling over about 150, 160 light years from where you bought them and uh, selling them. I I used to do loads of this when I started. I used to buy something rare, and you can tell it's rare, because in the commodities market, it's in yellow and not orange. On my my hood. I've not done any weird stuff to my hood to make it fluorescent green or anything. I uh, So I used to buy a load of this stuff and take it some distance away. And there was loads of people used to do it. Used to be a really good earner. He's not now. There's, it's, it's, it's a really poor earner now. They still pretty much work worth what they always were. I love rares. They're so unique and unusual. And they were a leftover from the original game as well. So they were sort of had a, a warm place in my heart. <laughs> Anyway, I'm whittering at you. Yeah, so the moral of the story is that Jack's there, he, he travels around the galaxy, he thinks he's going to do a big old jump to Beagle Point, which is the other side of Sagittarius A star. So it's quite some distance away. It's the farthest you can get, basically. And uh, he soups up his hyperspace drive and he bolts some extra engines on all that malarkey and uh, off he goes and no one hears anything of him. I mean, it all goes wrong. And then we think he's exploded somewhere. And then a while later, someone posts, says, oh, look, look, I found him. I found Jack Station. It's up on the left of Sagittarius A in a system called Eol Prow RS hyphen T D3 hyphen 94. Trips off the tongue. Anyway, there he is. And basically, there's nothing out there. It's, there may be, who knows. But as far as your ship's controls are aware, looking in the navigational map and, and filtering it for population, there's nothing out there. And then this commander found a blip. And obviously this blip was the people on board Jack's space station. And there it was, Commander Cly, I think. And anyway, so there was a hullabaloo. And lots of people got very excited and lots of people went out there and then they wanted to do all sorts, like repairing it because it had been broken. And then there was all sorts of community goals where everyone gathers together and everyone takes a bunch of stuff. And I got involved in one of these. I decided, right, that's it. I'm going to soup up a ship. And uh, I I souped it up and I put all the relevant things on. I got my my jump range over 20 and I, I thought, right, I was I still am, but I was really, really rubbish at the game. Anyway, there I was, and I thought, right, right, they need, they need osmium, right? You can't buy limpets at Jack's, and you can't mine osmium without limpets. Well, you could, but I've been mining it very slowly. So um, I take all my limpets so that I can do the mining, and I equip my mining vessel, my trusty T6, and off I go. Very, very slowly. Beautiful sights, wonderful discoveries, glorious sights and and travelling across. And and I realised that this jump range with a hold full of limpets is is painful. And I get about halfway and there's a glorious announcement. You can now buy limpets on board Jack's station. Well, that was magic, isn't it? Great. Fantastic. So there I am in a planetary ring. And I vent my limpets and watch them explode. And I continue on my way with a slightly higher jump range, which, which made it quite a lot quicker to get there. And, uh, and I made several thousand credits of explorations, especially with the additional bonuses. Oh, exploration money was terrible back then. You got 20 pence for finding an Earth-like or something else like that. Anyway, get to Claudia, mine a bit of osmium, take part in the CG, feel very proud of myself and uh, consider myself part of elite history, getting Jack's station back up and running. And it really has made its mark, Jack's. There's a whole set of systems around it with names. They've renamed all of those long coded systems with real kind of emotive names. And there's people that just live their whole time in the game, out there in Colonia, doing their thing. Far from the Thargoids and far from the politics.